How was your weekend? Mine involved me getting trolled, ratioed, and dunked on by blue check conservatives because I dared to tweet out my support for keeping mask and vaccine mandates in place as Americans continue to die from COVID-19 at astonishingly high numbers. Fox even devoted an outrage segment to my tweet this morning. MSNBC, yeah. a host there suggesting expanding the Supreme Court as part of fighting COVID. Here's the quote, keep mask mandates, especially in schools, keep vaccine mandates where possible, bring in a damn vaccine mandate for domestic air travel via executive order, send out more free high quality masks and rapid tests on a monthly basis, tie opening up to booster uptake, expand the Supreme Court. Joe, aside from this guy wildly misreading the room when it comes to the <laughs> dramatic downswing we are in, like no one in wants COVID, that. like basically <laughs> COVID is kind of like on third base right now. What the heck to the number of justices have to do with COVID. COVID is kind of like on third base right now. Yeah, it only killed 2,125 Americans on Friday. Hilariously. But let me answer Mr. Fox Anchor's question. Expanding the Supreme Court and reforming our judiciary is now a public health issue because we have reactionary anti-science Trump-appointed judges shooting down a legitimate vaccine or test mandate. So there's that. But you also heard Ms. Fox Anchor there saying, no one wants that. No one wants vaccine or mask mandates. And you know, in between all the hate and vitriol I've gotten from far-right types, you're a fascist, a tyrant, you're evil who don't give a damn that two to 3,000 of their fellow Americans are dying every day, one thing stands out to me. This idea that what I called for, keeping mask mandates for a little longer, especially in schools, and keeping vaccine mandates for as long as possible, is somehow unpopular, politically suicidal, electorally self-destructive, a vote loser for the Democrats come November. I mean, these were the kind of tweets I got from Republican operatives like former director of comms for the Trump campaign, Tim Murtaugh, and Ron DeSantis' press secretary, Christina Pichot, and others on the right. To even suggest that vaccine and mask mandates, that masks themselves are popular, have public support, is to invite howls of derision and laughter. Nobody wants to mask anymore. That's the conventional wisdom. But it's wrong. Don't believe me? Just yesterday, a CBS YouGov poll showed 56% of Americans support mask mandates, even now in their states. 57% think masks in schools should be required for kids. Oh, the horror. In fact, a recent Ipsos poll found only 21% of Americans want to open up and get back to life as usual with no coronavirus mandates or requirements. That's exactly the same proportion of Americans that want to increase mask mandates. In fact, a whopping 73% of Americans want to increase, keep, or still take at least some precautions with COVID going forward, even without mandates. 71% of Americans told Ipsos they wear masks when they leave their homes, some or all of the time, compared to 28% who wear them only occasionally or never. Another poll found clear majority support for a vaccine mandate for domestic air travel, as I called for in my tweet. And then there's last month's Monmouth poll, which anti-mandate folks jumped on. Look, 70% of people say COVID is here to stay and we need to get on with our lives. Yeah, but that same poll also showed, again, majority support for mask mandates. Now, you might ask, isn't popular support for mandates, especially vaccine mandates, down from the super high levels of 2021? Yeah, that's true. And that's partly pandemic fatigue, but it's also partly a result of Democrats rolling over in the face of Republican attacks and not making a stronger case for mandates. As I pointed out on this show last week, Democratic governors are falling over one another to lift mask mandates and pretend the pandemic is almost over. Just today, D.C. announced it'll be dropping its mask and vaccine mandates in the coming weeks. Put aside the fact that the CDC and some public health experts, the scientists who Democrats wanted Trump to follow when he was in office, are not saying to lift mask or vaccine mandates. Put that pesky science to one side for a moment. How did we get to a point where Democrats are running away from policies that a majority of the American public keeps saying they want and support. Look, when it comes to left-wing issues like defund the police, we keep getting told that Twitter isn't real life. Well, you know what? When it comes to public health safety measures, and yeah, let's not fall into this right-wing trap of calling them restrictions. When it comes to public health safety measures, Twitter isn't real life either. Nor is cable news or Substack. Sure, the Fox and Breitbart and Daily Wire types aided and abetted by certain centrist pundits online. Sure, they can make lots of noise about the evils of mandates. 
but the American public doesn't agree with them. Still, that's the Democratic Party for you, constantly in a defensive crouch, almost always bowing down to a narrative written by Republicans. So look, people continue to throw tantrums about mask and vaccine mandates, whether it's astroturfed protests at school board meetings or Canadian truckers blocking a bridge or the hosts on Fox and Friends. But that isn't public opinion. Fox want me to read the room? I have. Have they? Because the numbers don't lie. The majority of Americans wear masks and want mandates. And anyone who tells you otherwise, Republican or Democrat, is gaslighting you. Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of The Mehdi Hassan Show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen. And make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.